Yeah, is it visible? Yeah, uh, I want to look at it. Uh, oh, this is the North Indian <laughs> style. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, that's right. That's fine. No, I yeah. have it in front of me, so that's fine. So I just want to say that, for example, the moon, this is natally. I don't, I actually don't use Jaimini so much on the natal level. I use it for dashas and muktis to add to what I already know. But if we wanted to take it that way, so if you look at the Atmakarika, that's the indicator of the soul. It's in the fifth house, which is the house of the mind. It's the house of children. It's the house of investments. So that would be an extremely important placement for me. Investments, I do gold and silver investments. And this is a, a very mental lifetime. That's the fifth house. It's also artistic. That's very important. The second planet in, in the second highest degree for me is the moon. The moon is in the 12th house. So how is he going to make money from the 12th house? Well, I actually taught meditation. The 12th house represents moksha, represents enlightenment. The 12th house is a spiritual, metaphysical, it's a spiritual house. My careers after, you know, after the age of 29, which is when you become an adult astrologically, I made my money teaching astrology for seven years, uh, sorry, teaching meditation for seven years, moksha. That's a 12th house career. Then astrology, which is not exactly moksha, but it's another spiritual career. So that makes some, some sense. Um, Venus is my third, which would be brothers and sisters. Okay. And Venus is my most afflicted planet in the regular Parashara system. In this system, not so much from aspects, but Venus is two degrees away from Ketu and two degrees away from Mars. And this was a very, very bad, anytime I come to that, to uh, 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 Taurus, Taurus is ruled by Venus, that's going to be somewhat difficult because Venus has these afflictions. Um, and then you can see if you, if you look at Mercury, Mercury is in the lowest degree. That's the marriage indicator. And it's, it's in the sign of Libra. So once I got into that, once I got into that Dasha, um, it was very much about relationships. And the Dasha that came after, that's when I got married early. As soon as that, as I was single for 12 years, relationships, they, they were, they were almost non-existent in those 12 years. And if they were, they were very short. As soon as I got to Libra, which also holds the marriage indicator, that was October, 1991. I had two relationships. Both were very serious. And the second one, I got married. The one after that is Virgo. Virgo dashas. So, so, the most important thing is the sign. So Virgo dashas always involve health. That's oftentimes when you're doing a Jaimini chart and you say, oh, you're coming to a Virgo dasha. People generally don't like it because they're going to be involved in health and the workplace like that. Um, Okay, let's um, let's let's put up the uh, the aspects. Let's show the way the aspects work. Um, wait a Should I open the other chart? Hold on a minute. Um, before you do that, before mm -hmm. you even do that, put up Donald Trump's chart for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I I just want to mention um, I want to mention his cancer dasha. 
His cancer dasha, he was in Gemini from June 2006 to June 2018. And then in June 2018, he entered cancer. Now the cancer dasha, in my opinion, is going to be very, 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 very rough on him for two reasons. One is because cancer is the 12th house. When you, when you have these Jaimini dashas, you look at the sign, and if the sign is the 6th house, it's not so good. Or if it's Virgo, it's going to be health and he healing. But if it's the 8th house or 12th house, now the dasha is going to be a sign. Okay, so his uh, Trump's 6th house would be Capricorn. So Capricorn could be somewhat difficult simply because it's 6th house. And then um, Pisces for him could be a little bit difficult simply because it rules the 8th house. So now he's hit, in June 2018, he came to the Cancer Dasha. That is the 12th house for him. That will entail some problems. But most importantly, look at the planets that are there. Saturn is the marriage indicator for him because it's in the lowest degree of a sign. <coughs> Saturn's in zero degrees Cancer, and Venus is the second lowest, which means it's the sixth. One, the, you know, the, the Atmakarika is the first, the second is the second highest. By the time you get to the sixth, that's bad. That's the Ganadi Karika. So he's got the 12th house and he's got the Ganadi Karika in that sign. So this Dasha for him, which is, I believe, eight years. Yeah, it's eight years. Um, this Dasha will be difficult. And I think that there is a, a very strong chance that he could wind up in jail in the Dasha. It doesn't mean he would wind up while he's president, but there is so much investigation of this guy and his dealings from what I've read, he's had so many dealings where he launders money through uh, Russians and things like that. So when the Mueller, when Mueller's doing the investigation on, the, on Russia, he's also uncovering all his business dealings. And if he, if he uncovers business dealings where he's been cheating, he will hand that over probably to the New York justice system. And I think they will likely go after him. There's nothing, in my opinion, that is helpful for him being in a 12th house dasha with the Gennady Karaka. Now, there may be some yogas or Raja yogas that help, but I'm telling you the basics of this system, 12th house is not good. And the 12th house represents hospitals and prisons and things like that. And also, because the marriage indicator is there, and because it's the 12th house, and it's with the Ganadi Karaka, the, 12th house, the, the marriage indicator, which is uh, uh, Saturn for him, is in the 12th with the Ganadi Karaka. So I think even before jail would be big troubles with the marriage partner. That's what I would expect. Okay, let's put up the, um, the aspects. It's visible, I hope. It's very good. So, I don't know how much, you know, in the Vedic system, in the Hindu system, I don't know how much people are really concerned with cardinal, fixed, and mutable. When I went to India, they never really talked very much about that. Um, you, maybe you can tell me, is that a common, do most people when they study Jyotish notice the cardinal, mutable, fixed, earth, air, fire? water do they talk about that uh yeah they talk but it's like not very much i, I think not very right. much yeah yeah in talk, it's like it's one of the topics but it's not like very 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 prominent 